Which of the following influences the effects of alcohol? A. The amount of food in the stomach. B. The body weight of an individual. C. How much time passes between drinks? D. All three choices. D. All three choices. Your blood alcohol content, BAC, depends on how much alcohol you drink, how much time passes between drinks, and your weight. Eating before or while you drink helps slow the absorption of alcohol somewhat, but it cannot prevent intoxication or impairment if you have too much to drink. This road sign means A. School crossing B. Pedestrian crossing C. Jogging trail D. Busy sidewalk B. Pedestrian crossing this sign indicates the presence of a pedestrian crossing. You should watch for people entering a crosswalk or crossing your path. Slow down and be prepared to stop. If an aggressive driver cuts you off, you should A. Call the police immediately. B. Stay calm and move out of the aggressive driver's way. C. Flash your vehicle's lights to let the aggressive driver know he is wrong. D. Use a driving action of your own to get back at the aggressive driver. B. Stay calm and move out of the aggressive driver's way. If an aggressive driver cuts you off on the roadway, stay calm and get out of their way. Trying to get even with an aggressive driver risks escalating the situation and increasing the danger. Driving at night requires increased caution because A. Traffic moves faster at night. B. There is a larger volume of traffic at night. C. Drivers cannot see as well at night. D. Accidents occur more frequently at night. C. Drivers cannot see as well at night. Because it is dark, drivers cannot see as well at night as they can during the day. From one half hour after sunset until one half hour before sunrise, or at any other time when persons or vehicles are not visible for 500 feet, drivers must use their headlights. Want to issue DMV test? Go to CheatSheets.com and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. A driver can legally pass on the right side of another vehicle. A. If the vehicle is waiting to turn left and there is an available passing lane. B. Even if it means driving off the pavement. C. On a narrow bridge. D. At any time. A. If the vehicle is waiting to turn left and there is an available passing lane. If there is an available passing lane, you may pass on the right of a vehicle or bicycle that is turning left or waiting to turn left. It is also legal to pass on the right when driving on a multi-lane road with two or more lanes traveling in the same direction. You may never drive off the pavement or main traveled portion of the road to pass another vehicle. When you see an emergency vehicle with flashing lights, you must A. Slow down and keep moving in your lane. B. Keep driving in your lane. C. Pull to the right curb and stop. D. Stop exactly where you are. C. Pull to the right curb and stop. When you see an emergency vehicle using its lights or hear it using its siren, you must immediately pull over to the curb or side of the road and stop. On a road which has no sidewalks, a pedestrian should walk on the A. Side of the road which has the lightest traffic. B. Same side of the road on which traffic is moving. C. Side of the road facing oncoming traffic. D. Side of the road which has the heaviest traffic. C. Side of the road facing oncoming traffic. 
Pedestrians should walk on the side of the road facing the traffic in the lane nearest them. This sign means A. A left curve is ahead. B. A series of curves is ahead. C. An S curve is ahead. D. The road will be slippery when wet. D. The road will be slippery when wet. This sign warns that especially slippery conditions exist when the road is wet. Before changing lanes on a multi-lane highway, you should A. Sound your horn. B. Turn on your headlights. C. Reduce your speed. D. Check your mirrors and blind spots. D. Check your mirrors and blind spots. Before changing lanes, you should look in your rear view and side mirrors to make sure no one is trying to pass you. You should also look over your shoulder to make sure that no one is in your blind spot. At an intersection with a stop sign, you should stop and A. Check your rearview mirror for cars tailgating. B. Move when the vehicle ahead of you moves. C. Look right first, then left, then right again. D. Look left first, then right, then left again. D. Look left first, then right, then left again. When stopped at an intersection, you should first look to your left, as vehicles coming from the left are closer to you than vehicles coming from the right. Look to your right, then look to your left again, in case there are any vehicles coming from that direction that you did not see at first glance. At night, it is hardest to see a. Road signs. B. Pedestrians. C. Other motorists. D. Street lights. B. Pedestrians. Compared to signs and other roadside objects, pedestrians are hardest to see at night. This road sign means A. Do not enter. B. No parking. C. No U-turn. D. No left turn. C. No U-turn. This signs indicate that U-turns are prohibited in the location where it is posted. You are entering a crowded freeway. What should you do to merge into traffic? A. Use your side and rear view mirrors and check your blind spots. B. Use the acceleration lane to adjust your speed to match the speed of freeway traffic. C. Yield to traffic already on the freeway. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Use the entrance ramp to accelerate to the speed of freeway traffic and yield to traffic already using the freeway. Before entering traffic, use your mirrors and check your blind spots to verify that you have room to safely merge. When parking uphill next to a curb, set the parking brake and A. Keep the rear tires against the curb. B. Keep the front tires straight ahead. C. Turn your steering wheel away from the curb. D. Turn your steering wheel toward the curb. C. Turn your steering wheel away from the curb. When parking facing uphill on a street that has a curb, set your parking brake and turn your steering wheel away from the curb. This way, if your vehicle starts to roll, it will roll into the curb. Motorcycles are entitled to A. The bicycle lane. B. The same full lane width as other motor vehicles. C. Half the width of a lane. D. The width of the sidewalk. B. The same full lane width as other motor vehicles. Lane usage for the motorcyclist is critical. Motorcycles are entitled to the same full lane width as all other vehicles.
If you are driving on a one-way street and an emergency vehicle using its flashing lights approaches your vehicle, you must a. Drive with your flashers turned on. b. Drive toward the nearest roadside and stop. c. Speed up and take the nearest exit. d. Slow down until the vehicle passes you. b. Drive toward the nearest roadside and stop. If an emergency vehicle using its lights or siren approaches while you are driving on a one-way street, you must drive toward the nearest roadside and stop. When you need to change lanes, it is important to a. Signal your intentions ahead of the lane change. b. Check your blind spot. c. Make sure the lane is clear before entering. d. All of the above. D. All of the above. Always signal for an appropriate amount of time before making a lane change or exiting a freeway. Before you make any move to the right or left, quickly turn your head and look over your shoulder to see if your blind spot is clear. If you are driving in another driver's blind spot, you should a. Move forward or drop back so the other driver can see you. B. Keep a steady pace. C. Stay in the driver's blind spot. D. Honk to let them know you are there. A. Move forward or drop back so the other driver can see you. Do not drive in someone else's blind spot. Move forward or drop back so that the other driver can see you. When encountering an aggressive driver, you should a. Avoid eye contact, slow down, and let them pass. b. Cut them off to slow them down. c. Retaliate by tailgating them. d. Make sure they know you disapprove of their behavior. a. Avoid eye contact, slow down, and let them pass. If another driver is threatening you or intentionally driving dangerously around you, remain calm and try to put as much distance between the two of you as possible. Slow down and let them pass. Do not make eye contact and do not make obscene gestures. You are involved in an accident and your vehicle is blocking traffic. You should. A. Move your vehicle off the traveled portion of the roadway, if possible. b. Not move your vehicle under any circumstances. c. Wait until the police arrive before moving your vehicle. d. None of the above. a. Move your vehicle off the traveled portion of the roadway, if possible. After a minor collision, move your vehicle off the traveled portion of the roadway, if possible. Do not leave the scene of an accident without identifying yourself and rendering assistance. To check your blind spot when changing lanes to the left, you should glance a. over your right shoulder b. at your side mirror c. over your left shoulder d. at your rear view mirror c. over your left shoulder to check your blind spot, glance over your shoulder in the direction that you want to move. Pentagonal signs indicate A. No passing zones. B. School zones. C. Speed limits. D. Railroad crossings. B. School zones. Pentagonal signs indicate that you are in a school zone. Be extra alert to children and pedestrians when driving near a school. This road sign means A. Steep grade ahead. B. Pedestrian crossing ahead. C. Low ground railroad crossing. D. Low clearance. D. Low clearance. This sign indicates that the overpass ahead has a low clearance. 
You should not proceed if your vehicle is taller than the height shown on the sign, in this case, 13 feet 6 inches. This sign means A. Steep downgrade. B. Crossroad ahead. C. No right turn. D. Narrow bridge. A. Steep downgrade. Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns drivers about an upcoming steep hill. They should adjust their speed accordingly to avoid brake damage or collision. Your vehicle's stopping distance increases when stopping? A. On a wet or icy road. B. On paved highways. C. When driving at night. D. All of the above. A. On a wet or icy road. Stopping distances increase on wet or icy roads. Stopping distances also increase on road surfaces covered in loose gravel or stones.